Last night while chatting with somebody, they reminded me about coffee jewels. These came out back 2011. They were used to keep coffee, get coffee down to a certain temperature because they had a material inside that would solidify and, and turn to liquid around 60 degrees Celsius. So they use these to, to help bring your temperature of your beverage down quickly and then maintain it at that level. So I thought it was interesting in this context of cooling samples. And then today I also published a, an article about trying to debug my uh, Vapor Express profile on the Decent, so go check it out. Um, I started with Robusta. I've still been working through Robusta. So this Robusta was frozen and then as green beans and then defrosted and roasted. Um, I've noticed a slight improvement in taste. So I'm not sure if it's because it was frozen or because it was roasted a little bit lighter than the control sample. So this one is still pulling to the left. Um, I really am considering replacing the dispersion screen with the S-Works one. Uh, but this shot turned out really tasty. Then I made another shot for my wife and I poured it in milk, but it came out really nice. I tasted it, it was this, this blend has been really good in milk. It tastes very chocolatey, even though it's a medium roast. Um, but it kind of went to steam at the end, which was concerning. So I also want to let people know I'm going to the San Francisco Coffee Festival on Sunday. So if you want to hang out, send me a message. In the afternoon, I pulled a staccato shot. And this was the last of the experimental coffee I had from Chromatic. This shot tasted really good. It pulled it a little bit, but I increased the uh, temperature of the second stage. So the first half of the shot is at uh, 113 C, and then it drops back down to 105. So I, I think the only problem is when I slow the flow down, it, it goes from like a good flow to kind of a donut. So you'll see it lose it in the middle. Then in the if you look at the puck itself, you can see a big splotch where water didn't go through, it stopped flowing. I roasted a little bit of coffee, Ethiopian and Guatemalan. And I also got the stand for the coffee jack. So I was able to pull a shot this morning and, and uh, take a video and I'm gonna take some more videos and publish those. I ended the day with a double shot of just a, a blend of two coffees that were towards the end of the bag, so I didn't have enough for a single shot. And I pulled it right into milk to see how it would look. What's interesting about this cup, and maybe it's the pour, is that I ended up with a layering effect where I had coffee on top, coffee in the bottom, and milk in the middle. I didn't drink it like this, I just poured it into a big cup and um, mixed it up with more oat milk. But uh, it looked cool, so I, I thought I'd uh, I thought I'd share. So I'm, I'm doing more of these daily video logs and I got the book, I got a lot of writing. It's, it's, uh, it's a fun time. Have a good day.